Jeff Soto got his start at RCC. College introduced him to a new world. RCC was the first college I went to. Uh, I, I came here straight out of high school and I was really young and fresh and I didn't really, you know, know what was going on in the world. I didn't know about things. I didn't know about the sciences and, and uh, the real history of, of mankind and our planet. And so I just, I was like a sponge when I came in and I just took all this knowledge and started running with it with my art. A self-taught artist, he found a creative home at RCC. When I began at RCC, I was coming from high school and I never had any kind of dedicated art classes. You know, I, I had taught myself everything. So coming here and having these great teachers really kind of pushed me forward. It really made me grow in a lot of ways. One of the great things about the RCC art department was all the people that I met, fellow students, teachers, uh, we kind of were all in it together and we had kind of a healthy sense of competition maybe and we, we kind of pushed each other and it was just a really good environment, a really good creative environment to be in. His art came from experiences. I wasn't completely sure. I knew I wanted to do something in the arts eventually but I ended up being here for six years because there was a lot of classes to take, you know. I, I came in here and I was like, wow, I want to take anthropology and I want to take astronomy and I want to have better English skills, writing skills. And when I look back, all these things contributed to who I am as an artist. Soto's first show was memorable. The owner gave me a chance to do a show. I was still a student at Art Center College of Design. And I pretty much took advantage of it. I, I did this crazy show that took me months and months of work and it was so rad when the show opened because it was just it was my first real show, you know? And like I said, it wasn't the biggest show, it wasn't in the the craziest gallery, you know, but it was the first one and it really opened up a lot of things since then. Student artists need to spread their wings, he says. My advice for anyone who's interested in getting into the arts, especially a student, is to take your classes really seriously and take as many classes as you can outside of art. So, you know, you have, obviously you have like the painting and the drawing classes, the design classes, but take photography and take astronomy and take botany and take a political science class and, you know, spread out a little bit because those life experiences and the knowledge that you're getting from all those classes is going to inform your art and make you a better artist. The artist looks to Hollywood for the next chapter in his life. An artist's career is really hard to predict and I don't know what the next five years is going to hold for me. I think right now I'm looking into taking some of the some of the characters and some of the properties I've, I've made, some of the designs and approach Hollywood, approach entertainment and uh, see if I can get some of these things made into movies or maybe like cartoons, maybe video games, maybe stuffed animals, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I, I, think, I think there's a place for my artwork in movies. You know, I, I think uh, it's a natural fit because when I paint, I kind of envision how, the, how these creatures can move and how they interact with the other creatures and what they eat and, and the houses they live in and what kind of vehicles they drive. It's all in my head and I think it could make a pretty cool world.